thank you for again uh, giving me the chance of presenting another talk so the next talk that i'd like to present is on robin so robin is an asynchronous python web framework uh, with the rust runtime and i'll also give a quick introduction on why did we require this and how it will be useful uh, specifically when it comes to being able to create very quick uh, uh, runtime right so just a quick introduction about what the story about robin so basically uh, in early 2021 there was a huge uproar within the entire reddit community of building with rust and a lot of developers were using rust as a programming language which is actually a really great programming language because it provides better performance than c++ but having the less security issues that you usually find with things such as uh, pointers in c++ so it's actually better and uh, today rust is uh, being uh, is actually being used for a lot of different use cases so uh, during this period um, rust was being used to rewrite a lot of the common applications uh, with the help of rust and during that time sanskar who is the original uh, uh, maintainer and the original creator of this particular project he decided to basically create um, a kind of a, a for, for one of his projects uh, he used to decide to use uh, flask but flask does not support asynchronous methods right out of the box so that's why he decided why not just create an async flask and of course uh, there was fast api but he wanted to use um, rust and to go with the, this entire theme of building with rust and that's how robin was uh, born now one of the biggest uh, benefit that we get with the help of uh, robin as compared to other uh, python frameworks now um, if you might be aware with python uh, there is a global uh, globally known notorious uh, global interpreter lock in python that doesn't allow for concurrency and uh, this is more uh, related to multi threading locking and uh, python does not allow for uh, true concurrency to actually take place whereas uh, rust does allow that and rust uses native threading for much faster execution and uh, that is why robin uh, since it uses uh, the um, rust as its uh, main framework for managing your entire multi threading uh, uh, that's why it also comes with a coupled server and that allows you to have basically an asynchronous server gateway interface right out of the bat and again if you want to check out more details about uh, the asky server you can check out this particular issue and if we also compare amongst uh, the different uh, python frameworks and robin you can see that uh, here is a performance benchmark uh, that has been done for uh, 10000 requests for standard http get requests and uh, keep a note that one uh, there has been one process and one worker used for the rest request and you can see that robin is actually the fastest even in comparison to django fast api and flask which are some of the most common uh, python uh, frameworks that are uh, existing today and if you want to go a bit more deeper into understanding how does uh, how does uh, basically um, how does a robin actually work and this is basically the uh, performance benchmark um how does uh, robin actually work so uh, basically uh, the re big rectangle that you can see is the rust runtime and this is uh, where we first take our python code and it gets converted into a rust code and uh, all the requests that you see are basically sent into this work uh, worker event cycle and uh, these requests are basically then sent to a router and the router has essentially the python code object for every corresponding route that it wants to execute and then it will basically go ahead and push the objects into this thread pool which is our event pool where it will distribute it across the multiple threads uh, depending upon the total number of cpu resources that you have and this way it is able to very easily manage uh, the multi threading aspect which is uh, commonly lacking in the python frameworks that are written in native python and of course in case you want to go ahead and actually build uh, much larger applications in case you might have let's say uh, multiple workers you could distribute them across cpu uh, cores and then just imagine having multiple instances of these process they could be scaled across very easily across multiple cores so uh, the main idea behind uh, robin and using rust is that um, your entire main logic is converted into rust objects and then uh, the in internal thread pool that is uh, used uh, within that rust runtime is responsible for uh, taking care of all the different requests that you have 
and because of the easy memory management and the thread pool management uh, life cycle management with the help of, within this rust run time we are able to get very quick and efficient uh, processing of your uh, threads and that of course uses the multi threading aspect that comes in built with rust and uh, this is a simple uh, uh, usage of how you can basically get started so you just have to do pip install robin and of course this is a simple example uh, it has been built with this very similar uh, like you know of uh, example or developer experience that you usually find uh, with flask so you define a robin and then you define your uh, either your get methods or your uh, post methods and then you start your app uh, by defining the port and uh, in order to uh, quickly also demonstrate i will go ahead and uh, share my screen so let me go ahead and do that uh, i'll just quickly share my screen now i'll stop sharing and share my entire screen uh, so let me go ahead and do that um, now over here i am sharing my postman um, uh, sorry my vs code and here i have basically two different examples the first example that i have is of course the one that i showcased uh, here we are just having a hello world application i've imported robin again you just have to do pip install robin and i'll quickly go ahead and run my app so for this i'll do python3 app.py and it starts running at localhost 5000 so i'll just go and take a look at my localhost 5000 and over here you can see it's a simple hello world app now the other application that uh, i'm showing is uh, a graphql application where we are using a strawberry uh, that provides native graphql support uh, with uh, with python and here is an example where i'm using a graphql based api again i've defined specific methods uh, for either fetching or also of course creating new posts with the help of graphql and using them alongside this backend framework which is robin so in order to go ahead and do that i'll just define this as uh, python3 graphql app.py and i'll start running this so if i just refresh this will load a graphql editor and then of course i can create my requests and send them uh, which will be managed with the help of robin so uh, that is a quick understanding of what exactly is robin and how you can get started so of course if you want to get involved uh, you can check out the github repository which is github.com/sansirock/robin and you can take a look at uh, the repository over here it's a fairly uh, active open source project and it has already within uh, a space of just a few months it has already gotten more than uh, close to 2000 stars and of course uh, you can also follow the project on twitter and um, in case you want to get started with the community there is also a discord community that you can join in order to get started and uh, within the docs you will also find certain uh, getting started code so if you want to explore uh, robin a bit more uh, you can find some starter examples uh, that have been provided including how to create uh, simple http services html files or, or even interact with with the help of a database so uh, you can check out uh, this framework and actually compare it yourself uh, with uh, similar applications with a fly uh, with uh, like you know a flask and uh, with um, uh, django as well and so that what makes uh, the robin framework so special is that it has async support and of course since it uses rust runtime it's very fast and manages uh, multi threading very easily so uh, that's a quick uh, overview of the entire uh, project and i'll stop presenting and i'm open to questions now Thank you so much. Uh, all right, uh, perfect. Uh, thanks, Shavay. I think we still have around one minute left. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, it's 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 a uh, interesting how uh, you know we're we're seeing so much of rewriting different parts of Python in non Python. Uh, <laughs> So you know, like whether it's the Py scripts or you know even just you know before that, right? Like all the all the uh, uh, you know Py Py stuff like that. Um, yeah. Just wondering. And one uh, interesting oh. thing that I'm very excited about is uh, WebAssembly and Python. So uh, recently we saw a number of different applications where you could actually run Django on the browser with the help of WebAssembly. So Rust, WebAssembly, and Python like they have a very good combination, especially because of the fact that uh, machine learning is uh, typically associated so much heavily with Python. and if you want to run them on edge devices uh, you can use uh, like you know things like webassembly to be able to manage those so yeah uh, definitely very excited about uh, the prospect of webassembly as well and how it interops with python <laughs>